The infamous loudmouth English poker pro Will Kasuf is back in the spotlight, this time for allegedly taking off with chips after drawing dead in a cash game at the Irish Poker Open. In this video, we try to find out what actually transpired and whether the allegations are true. Kasuf was last spotted at the Irish Poker Open, which has just concluded in Dublin and was the center of more controversy as multiple people have accused him of shady behavior. Barney Boatman, who was participating in a cash game with Will Kasuf, was the source of the initial incident. Kasuf sat down at the table but rather than placing chips in front of him, he only stated that he was in for 300 euros, according to a tweet from Boatman. He was dealt a hand somehow and once again, without using any chips, he called the bet and raised it by 30 euros. Eventually after calling, he placed three 100 euro chips on the table. He then called a flop bet but up until Boatman spoke, he had not placed the pre-flop wager of 30 euros. It was a performance worthy of a Razzie and it earned a chorus of groans and head shakes from other players. The bigger controversy came later in the night, though stories on what happened or did not happen differ. In a video that Lee Worthington shared on social media, he said that Will Kasuf had entered a PLO game for less than everyone else, roughly 300 euros, and lost it all on an all-in. He quickly found himself on the wrong end of another all-in after rebuying for the same price. As there was a side pot and a main pot, it took the dealer a little while to sort things out. As that was going on, Kasuf allegedly gathered up his chips and ran out of the card room. So you know that Will Kasuf I always talk about how much of a he is? You will never believe what the scamming has done now. Gets in drawing down. Middle of a PLO cash game hand, he gets it in all in on a turn after just being stacked for like 300 euros in a, deep, in a game where everyone's sitting 2 or 3k deep. And then he reloads, gets stacked again, gets it all in drawing dead on the turn. And then whilst they're working out the pot, he picks up his chips off the table and runs out of the card room. Like, so, yeah, like he's literally on. just trying to scam people in broad daylight in the middle of a cash game at a PokerStars event. Worthington claims that he had the occurrence corroborated by a few others at the table, but was outside the poker room at the time and only learned it off shortly after from a buddy. Keith Littlewood corroborated the story, tweeting that he was one of the three players in the pot. He later told Poker News that after the all-in bets, none of the stacks was counted or brought in the middle. Kasuf told the dealer to just leave the stacks and to sort it after the hand was played. At the end of the hand, when it was time to sort out the pot and the stacks, both Kasuf and his stack had vanished. The dealer alerted the floor who dispatched the security personnel to look for him but Kasuf was long gone. Littlewood acknowledges that he did not see Kasuf leave but since his chips were also gone and he was gone, everybody made the connection. Will Kasuf has defended himself by saying that he did not steal his chips or leave the poker room and that he hasn't done anything illegal. He said that after losing both pots, he went to speak to his friends Nikolai Ponomarev and another friend Alex Zeligman at a different table before leaving the poker room. There seems to have been no issue when he was there and nobody called the floor till he was inside the poker room. JP McCann, the director of the Irish Poker Open event, verified with Ponomarev and Zeligman that they talked with Kasuf after the hand, indicating that Kasuf did not leave the table as one might if one were attempting to carry off the fraud of which he is accused of. Kasuf claims if any mistake was made, it was either made by the dealer in not splitting the pots correctly or by a player miscounting their stack or taking his short stack from the pot as they had won the hand. This is not the first time Kasuf has been embroiled in this kind of a scandal. In 2018, he lost his sponsorship deal with Grosvenor Poker after he was caught palming $100 chips from a friend stack in a roulette game and Sean Deep's tweet made the incident viral. Kasuf released a statement regarding the 2018 incident where he acknowledged he was in the wrong, though stopped short of explaining the incident in any detail. The current story is still under investigation and if this turns out to be true, 
it would likely get him banned from future PokerStars live events now that the Irish Poker Open is a PokerStars sponsored festival.